to begin by saying thank you to the parents, faculty, and friends and sidewalks for keeping me off these streets the past couple of years. Well, uh -huh. Summing up the past four years of high school is a different story for everyone. Some are reluctant to leave, fearing that the future will not produce as many memories or fun experiences as high school. Others, on the other hand, gratefully accept the long-awaited treasure that is a diploma as they venture into the next chapter of young adulthood. For most, though, it is a bittersweet mixture of both. My hope for my fellow students, as well as myself, is that we are able to look back on our childhood and teenage years and not only recognize the memories that we hold dear, but also learn from them as well. Some of the most memorable things from my childhood come from the magical world of Disney. Although Walt's philosophy was not always spot on, I mean, Jasmine did marry a thief. I think him and his writers hit the nail on some thoughts. One being from Pocahontas. Mother Willow gives the advice, sometimes the right path is not always the easiest one. When tough decisions come up in life, I hope that we have been instilled with enough courage and strength to stand up for what we believe in. We constantly have teachers, parents, ministers, friends, and mentors pouring into us virtues that they believe to hold true. My hope is that as we, uh, my hope is that we don't abandon these strong beliefs because the world pulls us in every direction. I hope we are able to take a stand when there need be one, go the extra mile when it's needed, or extend a helping hand to those needing help. When the time comes, I hope we do not make decisions based on easiness or hardness, out of laziness or fear. Instead, we will stand strong and make our best decisions we can based on what is right and what is wrong. Sometimes the world isn't exactly what we hoped it would be. In The Princess and the Frog, Tiana says, just because you wish for something doesn't make it true. I think by now many of us know that there are things that you have to work hard for in this life. I think it is especially important to remember this going off into the next chapter of our lives, though. Dreams are fine and dandy, but they more than likely will not happen if you're not willing to put in the extra time that it takes to achieve your dreams and goals. Sometimes our desires just honestly do not have the possibility to become realities. I know this is ironic considering every Disney movie has a happy ending unless you're a villain or Mufasa, but the fact of life is that some dreams don't come true, but there is no reason to stop dreaming. Sometimes the best things that can happen are the things that you never knew you needed. And seeing that the only predictable thing about life is its unpredictability, why not? So don't forget to add a little bit of dreaming to a lot of hard work. And finally, one of my favorites from The Lion King. Oh yes, the past can hurt, but the way I see it, you can either run from it or you can learn from it. After all, isn't that what life is all about? Gaining experience and knowledge to use throughout your time on this earth? That you might one day be able to pass on to someone else? I tend to have the problem with dwelling on the past. The reality of it is that the past cannot be changed. If you make a mistake, don't be upset or disappointed about it. Learn from it and move forward in your life. If you spend your whole life thinking about your past, one day you will look up and it's the future. The past is nothing to waste your time on. Life is short, but it also is the longest thing you'll ever do. So make it worth it. Learn and live. That is all I can hope for myself and my fellow classmates. As we enter into adulthood with our memories that we hold dear to our hearts, I hope we carry with us all the lessons we learned here. Not only that, but one day we may also make new memories. The genie from Aladdin says that today's special moments are tomorrow's memories. So as we take yesterday's memories into the future, may we use them to make ten times as many more. May we learn from these new memories and let them mold us into fine adults. But most importantly, may we all of these memories add up to one memorable and magically unique life. Thank you, Jamie. And I have the honor of introducing the valedictorian of the Gatesville High School class of 2013, Miss Kristen Lee Smith. I would like to begin by welcoming everyone to this bittersweet occasion. Every one of you sitting here tonight has touched one of our lives in some way or another. Whether you're a parent, family member, teacher, mentor, friend, or just a fan of some good Hornet football, you have made an impact on an individual sitting here today or our class as a whole. As selfish teenagers, we do not tell you all enough how much we appreciate everything you have done for us, so let me take this time to say thank you. To our parents, thank you for loving us even on the days that we made it hard to. Teachers, 
Thank you for being patient with us when we were clueless about what was going on, even when we clearly didn't listen to you the whole class time. Thank you for not only teaching us basic school subjects, but also for teaching us lessons that we will carry for the rest of our lives. To our community, thank you for your extreme support of us in everything we do. We are blessed to live in this town with so many great people that are behind us. Just the other day, a group of us seniors went to eat breakfast at Andy's and a local businessman bought all of our breakfast. And though he may not have thought much of this small act of kindness, it meant more to us than he knows and is just one example of the great people that make up this community. And most importantly, I want to thank God. He has truly blessed our class more than we deserve and now it is our turn to bless him with the abilities he has given us in return. Thank you all, and we could never have made it here without you. It's hard to believe that four years ago, we walked into high school as a scared little freshman. Those four years have been long and short all at the same time. Long because of the fights that we had with the ones we loved, days that seemed to just go all wrong, and of course, calculus test. And short, because of lifelong friendships, football season, and memories that we have made in and out of Gatesville High School that we will keep with us forever. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we'll still be talking about Matthew sitting on a pencil and the numbers 13 and 1 will still be yelled out at our reunions years from now. Every decision we have made so far has molded us and prepared us for this very moment. But now it is time to move on. High school is an important time in all of our lives, but it's over. It no longer matters what your name is, who your parents are, or what clique you belong to. We are all equals now and have the same opportunity ahead of us. However, it is how we choose to take this opportunity that is going to make us who we are. As we go forward, we will have good times and we will have not so good times, but I encourage every one of you, including myself, to push through challenges and obstacles with your heads held high. Remember that going through trials develop perseverance, and though the hard times will come, they will also go. Remember that anything worth having is worth fighting for. Don't just try to get by. Strive for excellence in all you do, and never settle for less than what you deserve. Don't let the world define who you are or who you will become, and never let someone tell you that you can't accomplish something. We are the future of this nation, and we hold the power to change things, for better or for worse, and that's the true beauty of this moment, is that we have a choice, which is awesome and scary all at the same time, considering many of us have absolutely no idea where we are going or what we want to do with our lives. But God tells us not to worry and that he has great plans for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us hope and a future. I remember at the beginning of our freshman year, we got to write a quote to be put in the yearbook, and I wrote one of my favorite Bible verses, which says, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. And I remember as I was writing this, I said, my goal right now is just to graduate high school. And we all laughed because we knew how far away that was or how far away it seemed to be because now it feels like just yesterday that we were joking about this very moment. And now we finally obtained that goal of getting here to graduation, so now what? We have new goals to press on towards. Goals such as becoming a doctor, pilot, firefighter, athlete, or even starting a family. Whatever our goals may be, we press on towards them. We do whatever we are capable of doing to reach this goal, and once we reach it, we press on towards new goals. Wherever this life may lead us and however far away from home we go, we will all remember this little town of Gatesville, Texas, and all of the memories that we created in it. And I hope that we can take away all the good that happened while we were here, rather than the bad. Remember where you came from, and never take for granted those who have loved and helped you get to where you are. Although the future is unknown and can seem scary, God tells us not to be discouraged, for He will be with us wherever we go. I cannot put into words how blessed I feel to have grown up with this class, and I look forward to seeing what the future holds for all of us. High school has come and gone, and the future is now ours, class of 2013. And now, we press on. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. Mr. Spear, Superintendent, Mrs. Worthington, Assistant Superintendent, and Board of Trustees of the Gatesville Independent School District, it is now my honor to deliver the certification of the senior class of 2013. I certify that all of these graduates have met both the local school board policies and state of Texas requirements for high school graduation.